we're going to finish this thing today. I see that though. Yeah, yeah. No, we can All right, y'all. Back again with another time lapse video. Uh, it's your boy Ricky Butler from Lost Tribes Tattoos in Spotsylvania, Virginia. Yeah, I'm about to complete this. Uh, Sleeve I was working on. Um, yeah, we're just connecting this sleeve. It's not really a full sleeve. Um, it doesn't go all the way around. It doesn't wrap around. But I mean, it goes from shoulder to wrist. So I mean, I guess you can count it as a sleeve or half sleeve. So yeah, <clears throat> the basis of this tattoo is a summer theme tattoo. Uh, this client's name is Summer. Uh, so she wanted a summer theme tattoo. Two weeks ago, we started the top. Um, you know, I created something for her, pretty cool looking. It's just a girl on the beach, and then it morphs into a girl sipping a, um, you know, a drink, like a, you know, tequila or something like that. I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. So I had the idea to just connect it with the same girl um, pulling up her shirt. It's kind of like, you know, she's getting ready to go swimming or whatever. You know, she's just outside. She's showing her body. It's summertime. It gives you that summer feel. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. So I'm just doing the line work right here. Line work always takes me longer or just it's the most important part because uh, it just gives you the map um, to shade around but uh but yeah so I banged that out I'm starting to shading uh, this tattoo took about six hours to complete um yeah she sat like a rock sat like a champ Quadrant cartridges. I think they're the best on the market. Um, I'm using a 25 mag for those outside corners. I'm using like a 9 um, mag for the inside. Um, could be smaller than a 9. I don't know. Could be a 7. I can't remember. And then I'm lining it with a 3 liner. Uh, my machine is a Bishop Phantom. Uh, I got a Tad Soul Power Supply. Bishop Clip Cord was a uh, RCA cord. <clears throat> but yeah, my setup's pretty legit. Yeah, I was moving pretty quick on this one. I don't want to say I was moving quick. I was just... Uh, I was having fun with this one. This client really sits pretty well for all her tattoos, so it makes my job easier. And she doesn't really complain about the design or, um, you know, try to micromanage uh, the creativity side. She just likes to come in and get whatever I can come up with. Um, that's what I like too when clients just give me creative freedom. They just give me a theme and I'll just put it together how I see it. I mean, that's how I get the best work, or that's how you get the best work out of me. Um, more creative freedom. But uh, yeah, so we're just rocking and rolling. I'm gonna slow it down here pretty soon so y'all can see some real time um, footage of me tattooing because I know you can't really grasp. Uh, what's going on with these time-lapse videos um, So yeah, I'm gonna slow it down and uh, Let y'all get an idea of the real pace of this tattoo um, When I watch it in real time it kind of Makes me feel that I'm tattooing slow. I mean it gives me joy that I'm actually slowing down because I always have problems slowing down uh, the best tattoos um, 
are really meticulous and you should slow down more so you can get more detail in the area versus just trying to bang it out so uh i'm just proud of myself for slowing down over the years i can see it in my tattoos that they're uh they're really evolving and uh my client base is growing so yeah i'm doing something right <clears throat> so yeah this is the real time footage of me tattooing um you can see that uh in real time it's real like you know slow <laughs> you can tell on film that i'm really thinking about what where i want to put you know everything uh, when i'm doing it when i'm in it I'm like, I'm super focused. Like, I am thinking about it, but it, it already feels premeditated when I'm actually doing it. So when I sit back and I watch these videos, I'm like, oh crap, like, you can actually see me thinking, uh, where am I gonna put this? Or, you know, how is this gonna lay? <clears throat> Every time I watch a time lapse video or somebody tattooing on YouTube, I'd be thinking like, man, these dudes are tattooing slow as hell. Like, you know, just put the shading where the shading goes. Put the lines where the lines go. But <clears throat> now sitting here watching me, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm probably, I'm going like the same pace as anybody you would watch on YouTube, just tattooing and explaining their tattoos. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, this ain't really a tutorial on how to tattoo, so I'm sorry for y'all guys if you're thinking you're gonna learn a lot. Um, I'm just giving you an idea of my tools, um, but application, man, that all comes with trial and error, to be honest. Somebody can tell you what to do and what to use. Some people either get it or don't get it, you know what I'm saying? It's just... It's just trial and error. <clears throat> but right now I'm doing the hair, you know, uh, the back part of the hair before I start to shade it in the face. Um, I like to get some of the dark areas done first. Uh, it just makes it easier so I can see the contrast with the soft gray shading. Uh, against against that, that black background. <clears throat> so yeah, I like I like doing portraits. Um, I don't know if you could say this is a portrait. It's just a realism piece. I like doing realistic things. Um, I won't say I'm a photorealistic artist. I do try to mimic realism as best as possible, but typically my tattoos have a illustrative look to them. Um, it never really looks photorealistic. Um, but I am black and gray always um, gravitate towards black and gray versus color just because I started with black and gray.
from certain size. Stay tuned to the end. I'll show you the final product and y'all let me know what y'all think. Alright? Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, comment.